Hey everyone, this is Salam Lothra, Principal Attorney at Drishi Law, and today we're going to be talking about a DMCA takedown request. When any original content is on an internet platform without the authority of the copyright holder, then a tool to consider when fighting against copyright infringement is a DMCA takedown notice, short for the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Let's talk about a little bit about the DMCA first. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act was a compromise between ISPs, internet service providers, and media conglomerates on how to fight the unauthorized use of another's intellectual property, specifically copyrighted material. ISPs did not want to be responsible for third parties publishing content, and content providers wanted a more streamlined takedown process to protect against copyright infringement in the digital age. Therefore, the solution was to provide a safe harbor to ISPs as long as they complied with a valid DMCA takedown notice. The enactment of the uh, Music Modernization Act as part of the DMCA update was a relief for music studios like Universal and Sony. The MMA provided an efficient way for stakeholders to remove infringing uh, material through a simple DMCA takedown notice. It was a way to expand on existing copyright laws as they needed to be modernized for the digital age of streaming. Now that we know a little bit about what the DMCA is and the MMA, let's talk about the DMCA takedown notices. Compliance with a valid DMCA takedown notice uh, sent by the copyright owner can help ISPs avoid monetary liability for the unauthorized use of somebody else's copyright material. ISPs must respond to the notice of copyright infringement by copyright owners. Simply put, the DMCA notice is a cheap alternative to expensive enforcement like litigation. DMCA takedowns are a quick way to remove infringing material from an online platform, but it is essential to ensure a pre-notice investigation to determine the proper course of action on behalf of the copyright owner. The pre-notice investigation must include due diligence on the part of the copyright owner and the attorney. Although the copyright owner might not need a copyright registration to send a DMCA notice, they must ensure that the copyright owner is actually the owner of the material being used by the alleged infringer. A fair use assessment must be conducted of the alleged infringement the content claimed by the copyright owner must be protectable under the Federal Copyright Act. Finally, the website owner or content host must qualify as a valid ISP under the DMCA. All let's talk about ISPs. What is an ISP? Internet service providers come in various shapes and forms. They can range from companies like Xfinity or a web host that allows customers to shop online like Amazon. The safe harbor outline of the DMCA applies to storage services, uh, more commonly known as cache services. These services are like YouTube or Netflix that usually store copyrighted material. So let's say, for example, if someone uploaded a clip of the new season of Stranger Things on a YouTube channel without proper authority, the channel will probably receive a DMCA takedown notice. In this scenario, Netflix would be the copyright holder and YouTube is an online service provider that must comply with a proper DMCA notice. Connectors. You know, connectors are basically anybody who helps you connect to the internet, merely someone providing you access to the information out there. Web platforms. Uh, these ISPs provide access to message boards, web hosts, email servers, etc. Without permission, a sports message board that uses a clip from a CBS live stream of the NCAA March Madness will probably receive a DMCA takedown notice. Search engines like Google or Bing provide a direct link to potentially copyrighted material on web platforms. You know, I don't wanna get it mixed up here. The DMCA takedown process is not just for companies like Universal, Netflix, YouTube. It's for original content creators, anybody who is making original content. So when someone asks what type of content can be removed with a DMCA takedown notice, a DMCA complaint covers a variety of original content hosted on various types of web and social media platforms. Original content can include photographs, screenplays, short films, uh, audio like music, podcasts, etc., uh, choreography, written material, and so much more. Uh, suppose you're an original content creator like an artist, musician, writer, photographer that shares your creation uh, on a social media platform or a web platform like YouTube, Spotify, or Instagram, Flickr, Tumblr. In that case, you will likely encounter infringing content where your original content is being used without proper licensing or permission. In this scenario, you know, most reputable web platforms provide access to online forms or designated DMCA agents contact information
information to copyright owners. But there are times when copyright infringement is so widespread that you need a more tactical approach. In this scenario, I usually suggest someone work with an intellectual property attorney familiar with drafting a DMCA takedown notice. If you need assistance in preparing a DMCA takedown notice or acting on behalf of the copyright owner to initiate a DMCA takedown process, please feel free to book a consultation for your copyright enforcement needs at www.dreshilaw.com or call me at 773-234-1139. As always, this is Salam Lothra. Thank you for watching.